Father Joe Lingen, a member of the pastoral team at Ignatius House. Our gospel story today, the story of Jesus' appearance to the disciples, and specifically to the Apostle Thomas, is a favorite for many. And it is a favorite, I suspect, for one important reason. It addresses our doubts. Note I said, our doubts. Thomas is almost an everyman figure in the scriptures. He articulates his doubt and serves to express and address our doubts as well. His doubt is understandable. He hears the story of Jesus' resurrected appearance and, well, it is simply too unfathomable. No one is ever resurrected. That is, raised from the dead to die no more. Thomas states he will not believe until he sees unquestionable proof, that is, the wounds. He wants to see the wounds, which will prove that it is indeed Jesus who has been raised from the dead. The resurrection appearance stories all contain evidence that it is indeed Jesus who appears, the one who was the teacher, the healer, the prophet, the one who was arrested by the chief priests, tried and condemned, the one who suffered, died, and was buried. And to that, there were many witnesses. Each one of the evangelists wants to make it clear it is Jesus who was dead and buried, who later appeared. It was not a ghost, a spirit, or emotions playing tricks, but Jesus, alive and in person, bodily present, a physical being, alive. Thomas hears the story but expresses his desire for proof. So Jesus appears again and invites Thomas to see and feel for himself. For his part, Jesus is not angry and Thomas, well, offers no apology. But he reaches out and touches Jesus. Something happens in that moment. Something that happens in every resurrection appearance. Namely, there is a moment of recognition and the grace of belief. Belief, the grace of Easter. Recall in the Gospel of John, when on that first Easter Sunday, Peter and John, hearing that the tomb is empty, go running there. John arrives first, and then Peter, and then Peter steps into the tomb and sees the clothes lying there and believes. And then John steps in and sees the same thing and believes. Each year we celebrate Easter, I believe a little more. I become more certain, more confident, and sure that what we celebrate is true and what we believe will come to pass. That is, life after death. This is a key tenet of our Christian faith, the resurrection of the dead and eternal life with God. Thanks be to God. In our liturgy and remembrance of those who have died, we say, in death, life is changed, not ended. So I believe, so we believe. Thanks be to God. And thanks be to Thomas, who offers a succinct testament and witness for Jesus. For Thomas proclaims, my Lord and my God. May we all be as certain and as bold in our witness of faith as well.